This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Footings and foundations, add stepped footing riser. All right, let's pick up where we left off. So let's open up. Let's go with 905 complete. Save as, and it'll also be 906. Begin. Then let's do another save as. Let's say 906 complete. We're going to be fixing up some of these connections and also focusing on the riser. And let's just do a shift roller wheel click and we'll spin that around. So just want to put some risers in there. And we can do that using a family. So if I go to insert, load family, and I'll just go into our folder that we've been working on. There it is there, 0906 step footing riser. And we'll just open that up. Okay, so we can add that in by going to Home, and then we'll go to Component, and we should have this thing called Step Footing Riser. And it's just a matter of us putting it in. Now, where are we going to put it in? It says Top of Footing. I'm just going to drop it in, hit Escape a couple times, and let's just see where it is. So it's moved out from there. We can use the Align tool to great effect here. The only thing we want to do before we really get going with this is just measure the width. So these ones are 36 inches wide, and we can just edit, confirm that. So yes, they are 36 inches wide. OK. Now, if I click on this footing right here, I can go to its properties. And right now, it's set to 2 feet. I'm just going to go to 3 feet and then apply it. So there it is. Let's try this out. So we'll go to Modify. We'll go to Align, which is right here. And we'll just say Align to that. That's our destination. And then align that. Okay, it seems to work out okay. And then what we'll do is again spin around. We can say align again to that. Oh, and you see multiple alignment is still on on my machine. Let's just escape. Align, let's just take off multiple alignment and we'll say let's align to that. And we want to align that. Okay, and what next? We can just say align to the bottom. Now this is a little bit tougher. It's not really giving it to me. So let's just go into another view and move it down. So I'll try to stay in the 3D view. And I just clicked on back. Because I had the object clicked on it, focused on it. I'm just going to use the move tool and then move it down to there. Okay. So let's click on that. One last thing here is how high it is. So we can click on it. The step height it says four feet. Now, this is going to be including basically from there to there, I think is what it's going for. So why don't we go into an elevation view? So we'll go into a north elevation view. And we'll measure. So we'll go to either the measure tool or we can do a dimension. I'm going to go to the measure tool and just measure from there. Now, it's not picking that up for me. So let's do dimension tool. So we'll go to annotate. Aligned, and we'll go from the top to the bottom, three foot six. Okay, I don't even need to finish the dimension. I'll just hit escape, click on my footing, and then I can go to the height, three foot six, apply, and there it is. So it's not quite a slick process. There is multiple steps involved in that, no pun intended. I'm going to go to the structure only again, zoom out a bit and then just spin this around. So there's one. Once you get one done, the second is easier. I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's easier. So we'll go to copy it. And we'll just copy it right over to there. And then we can move it down. So we'll move it from there. Now it's locking me onto the plane here. So I might want to just, again, go into this view here, which is the back view, click on it, and then move it down so it knows what I'm intending. OK, I'll click on the corner again. OK, better. And again, it's not especially easy. We all wish this was fixed up a little bit so it was faster. But once it's done, it's done.